A 15 year old girl is dead after getting electrocuted while swimming. Now her parents have an urgent message to share to share. Here's Michael Clark from our CBS affiliate WIAT in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. What began as a peaceful day on Smith Lake last year. I see my daughter, uh, you know, underwater. Turned out to be the worst day of Jimmy and Casey Johnson's life. The Easter Sunday was one year exactly uh, that we lost Carmen. Carmen Johnson died after her parents said water entered a light switch box, charged the dock, the electric current then entered the water through the metal ladder she and her friend swam towards. Her father even jumped in to help. But I knew enough that I was getting electrocuted that I started hollering, you know, cut the power to the boat dock, cut the power to the boat dock. Electric shock drownings again top of mind for this family. After learning Tuscaloosa County officials are investigating whether Shelly Darling and Elizabeth Whipple may have been electrocuted. It's, it's still, it still brought sadness over us just knowing that someone else is going through what we went through. Faulty dock wiring or damaged grounding systems can be to blame for an electric current that enters the water, weakening a swimmer long enough to drown. Keep your electrical wiring and everything checked on your docks. Um, make sure you have a ground fault breaker. This was warned not to swim close to a dock if you feel tingling in the water. <laughs> Some devices can even provide an early warning. The Johnsons know nothing will bring Carmen back, but hope their story will keep someone else from feeling their pain. It means a lot to Carmen, I know. Uh, so anything we can do to help uh, help with the um, you know, save lives uh, around the lakes, you know, we're going to try to do our best to, to do that.